What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock guys. So Nvidia stock is doing some price action to the upside. So let's talk about what we have been discussing as for the price action plan, what are the possibilities, the use cases and how things may evolve from here on. I'll also cover a little bit just on you know my opinion on inflation sorry yeah the data on the inflation are harder than I expected. Uh, I'll provide my opinion as well on that. There are a few things they're talking about there. And then guys will take a look at, you know, how NVIDIA has been doing for this morning and uh, what are we looking at next on this thing as for the price action. So guys, with that, please hit the like and subscribe. And also please note, none of this is any financial advice. It's only for education purposes. I'm only providing my opinion, how I read the market, how I trade the market. I take guarantee of nothing. All right, you are solely responsible, okay, for your own decisions and outcomes. Okay, so guys, um, I want to first go over this really quickly, the statement, inflation harder than expected. And um, so here we go. One of the lines I just want to read is that if the stock market was in rational phase, it would have seen a big drop today on the harder than expected CPI. However, the stock market is in euphoric phase. In a euphoric phase, bad news is good news and good news is great news. A characteristic, a characteristic of the euphoric phase is that all news is bought irrespective of what it is. So in other words, what it says is that all these things that comes in the news of this data, they add volatility to the market, but it means nothing more than that. You can't build your uh, direction based off of what the data is going to come out. They just told you here that market should have dropped, but it's going up, right? So that's why we do technical analysis, guys. So now, as for the technicals on NVIDIA, what were the things we were going, we were looking into going into today? Well, first of all, we talked about this trend line on the daily that um, NVIDIA is still above that. Now, there is a possibility I drew that blue box as well that unless we don't break below this, there is next downside to come is tough to say because these parabolic moves, even though, yes, this is still a bearish engulfing candle, in my opinion, this is still a direction changer. However, all these um, guys, th these big cap stocks, which are also the market leaders, they don't just make this bearish candle and then just flatten out. They don't do it that way. These supply levers are tested, right? There's a double test, right? The second test, the third test, and then subsequent failures is what we need to be watching. So, yeah, because, yeah, these massive ships don't turn on, you know, on a single signal, okay? So we have to go to the hourly interval to talk more about that and a bit of recap what we were talking yesterday. So I talked about that. Is there a possibility upside? Yes, there's a possibility. I said so yesterday that, and that's why I marked this red line for you guys. If Nvidia breaks out and above of this red line, this thing is gonna go up, right? And may test, you know, the next areas, right? So it's, it's already in this supply zone, right? Let's see. Well, it, it just because it's in supply zone doesn't mean it's going to fall. No, we have to see the price action. Is it going to building a confluence that is slowing down and reversing right now? Am I seeing any reversal here in the supply zone? No, I'm, I'm, I'm still seeing a green candle, strong candles, no pullbacks, even on lower time frame. If I take you down there, am I seeing any pullback? Not yet. Right now, everything is like up higher highs, higher lows. Things have been going up, right? So yeah, you gotta wait for a certain price action to develop to any of the downside. Even today, you can see how well our orange day trading levels plus also holds. Now, if you need access to my tools, links in the description below of this video. Now, what are the things on Nvidia? So, well, you can see we were getting so much of resistance at that very level that we drew yesterday. And it's also marked by my, my indicator you can see in the background there, right? You have that dotted line. So, I'm just highlighting that so you can see we rejected in the pre-market we kept rejecting until even the market opened and then when the market opened we exploded out right so yep this was guys for as for our today's use case this was a long play you can see it's still in this trend line uh, direction to the upside so yeah if if any downside on nvidia to come well this supply zone to react is we have to see the price cool off here starts to fall and then at this point, you have to see and wait NVIDIA if it breaks again below 889, that is $890 as well. 
if that breaks to the downside on nvidia then there is a continuation possibility to the downside otherwise right now on this pullbacks can be still bought and that can go up because why nvidia has formed this base and has a formed a pivot as well so pullbacks on this could still be bought so yep you know this sub and as i said these things can go in distribution phase here this is still a strong supply zone in my opinion yes definitely if things goes above 975 then that thing is negated but we'll see um right now the confluence is still that the this is getting into the supply zone let's see if it sells sells off here gives us some confirmations and starts to go lower but uh this might take a while when i say take a while a day or two give, give it some time before we see some uh price action develop on the reversal side otherwise yeah this thing right now is as i said we are above that trend line we are still technically bullish this thing may go into this distribution phase right so we'll see all right well i'll keep covering guys i'll talk about nvidia this afternoon as well now before going further i just want to show you real quick QQ and well let me show you first amd um so i already took my play out like fully 100 percent short position that i booked um right around this area so that was the play now amd guys again i don't think it's it has again it is in a much deeper zone right i mean it's just forming an inside candle right now a amd guys in my opinion we will keep continuing lower today's just guys it's just that market is going up and it's going up that's all it is okay for no reason this, this is what we call the distribution phase my qq stop loss has been hit so yeah thing didn't work out you know it's just found support at 20 days moving average there um so yeah qq you can see has been yeah i mean you know i i still feel this is a deeper pullback and qq will eventually starts to cool off we'll see if market continues to head lower but this seems like very much a distribution phase to me in my opinion because you can see that we are trying to go lower things are trying to be bought back up but they are not making higher highs okay spy as i said yesterday spy is still a bit stronger guys yesterday i said so right um even though i'm not comfortable buying here but this thing guys you can see is still going to the upside right spy is very yeah spy is very strong you can see it still found support at the bottom of the channel that we have so yeah yeah spy right now is not showing any downside to me you can even see on spy there's these two wicks so strong wicks yeah um we have to wait and see if it cools off and seems like meta turned around itself look at it i'm gonna talk meta in another video but yeah this thing hit my stop loss i was getting back in the channel we'll see what happens but yeah all market is again i yeah i'll wait okay my stop loss hasn't activated okay yeah so i usually have on my broker when the hourly candle closes out of it right now the body of no hourly candle closed out of it so i'll see what happens um so yeah let's see if it continues lower because in my opinion guys this thing on meta also will be a lower high but again I want you to talk more about NVIDIA in this video and um, guys other stocks I'll cover later and yeah with that guys I'll see in my I'll see you guys in my another video okay guys take care bye